Having your workspace reflect your workflow will make you more efficient. So to customize your workspace, just choose the panels that you wish to see and order them and arrange them in the way that makes most sense for you. So for me, one of the first things I do is I actually drag the toolbar that's on the far left of the workspace over to the right. And I drop that into place. And you can tell that it's going to dock itself properly when the blue line appears. So after you left click and hold, drag, when you get it lined up, just let go of the left click. And I do this because I actually find it easier to have the tools just where everything else is. So I'm clicking and choosing layers or adjustments. Um, the tools are right here and I'm not having to cross the screen back and forth to pick up a new tool. So this is why I've moved this particular one. Next, I want to choose the um, rest of the panels that I'm interested in. So to do that, you go to Window and you start choosing. Now I like to see the histogram, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. So far it's dropped over here. It's not quite where I want it, but that's okay. The next thing I want to choose is actions. That's because I have a bunch of actions that I've developed um, that I want to have handy. I also like to have the paragraph and uh, styles there for writing. So paragraph styles. And then I also like to have my brush adjustments um, so that I can change the brushes as I need. And I think for now that's probably about it. So let's get these uh, free floating panels laid out where we want them. So let's first take a look at what we have here. All right, so one of the first things I see is I have a bunch of stuff on the right that I don't need. So I don't go to the layer effects from here, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this group. Oh, actually close the whole group, so that's cool. What it did do is uh, move the histogram up. So the other things that I removed from there are the color picker, the navigator, and the libraries all of which I don't use on a regular basis, but the histogram I look at, at with every image. So that's why I want it at the top. The next thing you'll see that is that what I have here are my layers, channels, and paths, which are fine. And I have a lot of space and I like this because it allows me to build larger images, composite images, multiple adjustment layers, and I have space for that without having to scroll. So the next thing we want to do is stock these other um, sort of random uh, panels that sit here. So we're going to go ahead and slide them in here. And all you do is hover, left click hold, and hover until you see the blue line. Once you see the blue line, that means it's stocked. And now you're set. So once you've laid out your workspace the way you want it, just come up to the top right hand corner and say new workspace. Go ahead, give that workspace a name, and hit save. And now your workspace is set. If at any time you want to go back to original, the original or any of the other options that are default options within Photoshop or create a new one or reset, you can just by clicking on the uh, arrows here at the top. And that's it. Mm -hmm.